Otro video para ti hoy. Este es Aaron con ID en computers.com. Let's cut to the chase in this video. How to run multiple versions of Office on one computer. Here's the original request. I've discovered that QuickBooks will not export Excel Office 365 version, so I would like to install my legal copy of Office 2010 on a laptop and use its Excel to work with the QuickBooks files. With this will work okay. Will the new install somehow harm and delete Office 365? Well, that's a paradox, a yes or no answer. If you do it wrong, yes, it will fuck up the previous version of Microsoft Office that you had installed. If you do it correctly and you follow my tips in the blog post linked to in the description box below that will take you to my website so you can read my blog post, then no. It won't harm or delete Office 365. You just have to know what you're doing. Oh, do you want to know how? Oh, well, quick. It's quick. You should be able to figure it out on your own, possibly. Maybe. All you have to do is first, I would say, if you have Office 365, well, it doesn't matter what version of Office. If you already have an existing version of Microsoft Office installed on your computer, Verify where it's installed currently. Now, if you look at the screen image, the photographia that I made for this blog post in this video, the yellow circle is my doing. There's, and <laughs> I did not, I know what you're thinking. I'm always criticizing Microsoft Office suite and operating system. Always criticizing Microsoft products. I did not install Office 365 and Office 2010. Those are blank, empty folders that I just created really quickly. I just shaved and so, you know. All right, anyways. You know what I'm saying? Well, before I got to my office, I shaved, but close enough. You know what I'm saying? So, as you can see on screen, verify where Microsoft Office is installed. Now, there's two different folders where Microsoft Office might be installed. If it's 32-bit x86, it will be in the... And then, there's an example in my blog post, C Program Files x86. If it's the 64-bit x64 version of Microsoft Office, it will be in just the C Program Files folder. You know what I'm saying? So my example, I just picked x64, 64-bit. I was just, yeah, let's just make a quick image just as part of my video. As you can see, there's two different folders. You just want to make sure that when you go to install Microsoft Office, the second installation, that number one, you know where the first installation is at. Because if you just choose the defaults and Microsoft Office 365 or any other version of Microsoft Office is installed already, well, it's going to overwrite those files and it will fuck it up and it might not even work. You may go to run Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, blah, blah, OneNote, blah, 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 and it might not even work at all. Or it will be the new version and now you just overwrote the old version and now you just create a quagmire. And then what you have to do the second installation is just pick a different folder and you might want to make it logical in case you forget in the future you may forget oh oh I forgot I installed multiple versions of Microsoft Office on the same computer you know what I'm saying well if you so if you name them logically Microsoft Office 365 Microsoft Office 2010 oh oh I remember now oh okay there are in separate folders two different versions of Microsoft Office there you go. And then that'll help you when you uninstall them too. Potentially. Potentially. That's basically it. That's all you have to do. And this is an old school trick I learned over a decade ago. And it may be a strange re request, but I worked kind of against my will or I was brainwashed thinking that this system was legit when it's rigged and bullshit but once upon a time I worked as a surf in corporate America and also government military America and so that's when I ran across the first time I was like 
It's kind of strange. Why the fuck would they want multiple versions of Microsoft Office on the same goddamn computer? Well, it makes logical sense just because you know how with Microsoft, it's all capitalism. They're... I don't even I don't want to talk about that bullshit but every time they roll out a new version of Microsoft Office well it's different and so something like in this example right here QuickBooks will not export to Excel Office 365 version I don't know why that is I I don't really fucking care at this point now if that was the problem they wanted me to try to fix QuickBooks so that it would excel excuse me export into Microsoft Excel then that's a different issue a different blog post a different video but their solution was to create two different versions of microsoft office because that is a hint that tells me that once upon a time they were able to export from quickbooks into microsoft excel but it was only the 2010 version and so i don't argue i don't i don't waste time oh well no i'll fix it for you instead no 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 i just if they want Two versions of Microsoft Office on the same computer. Bam, I give them what they want. And this individual, after I gave them my tips and a big warning, make sure, and then before I run. So what's going to happen is when you kick off the second installation of Microsoft Office, pay attention. Don't get distracted because it'll ask you. You may be unconscious. You may be one of those unconscious language robots on the planet. The 98%, at least the 98% of Americans that are unconscious language robots and I avoid them because they're very violent and they're unconscious language robots. All right, pay attention because if you did not know this or you just were unconscious and you never realized this, during most software installs on Microsoft operating system, it asks you what folder you want to install that software in. You can actually change it. It actually prompts you and it actually tells you what folder it's going to install in and it will actually allow you to change and edit it so that's all you have to do pay attention when it tells you it's going to install and see program files you know blah 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 pay attention click on change whatever it whatever the verbiage is click on change folder and change the, the default you may also want to beforehand you may want to create this folder because what you can do is you can browse to that folder and then choose it during the install and then it will install into that folder whereas i think if it's a if if you're starting from new and that folder hasn't been created i think it says do you want the file the folder doesn't exist you want to create it now don't quote me on that some software on microsoft operating system will actually notify you of that sometimes it it doesn't tell you so, but that's all you have to do. Just make sure you have two distinct dynamic folders and you might want to name them something that makes logical sense for the future or for now so you don't get confused and you don't install it to the wrong folder. Boom, the Office 2010 installation will go on its merry way. It may, you may need to reboot your computer, restart your computer, and boom, this individual had no problems. And boom, it, it's real easy, really. You know what I'm saying? Anything else? Now, these instructions were written in my blog post for Microsoft Windows 10 operating system, but since I have years of experience, decades of experience in information technology, you can use this on other operating systems. Now, I don't know all the, you know, 31 flavors. I don't know. Can you go from, can you install Office 98 or Office XP with Office 365 in the future, you know, I don't know all those answers. You just, all, all you have to do is try it. Try it, and I would say within a decade or, I don't know how far back you can go. And, you know, which, which I, this was Windows 10, but I've known this tip or trick for 10, 15, 20 years now already. You know what I'm saying? So just try it. The worst that can happen is the installation will fail and then, you know, now good luck because now you're <laughs> now you're going to have to maintain two versions of Microsoft Office. And you know how Microsoft has such a splendid track record with Office, but hey, you request, you ask, I giveth.
and you taketh away f from my sanity or whatever. Okay. I don't mind these types of videos because it's just a request. It's not, I didn't have to solve that problem. Oh my God. See, there was a problem. There's always problems with goddamn fucking Microsoft. Adios.